Aloha and good day, friends and yogis. My name is Nicole Spirit. We're here with Puka Dog, Puppy Finn, and today I am the zebra unicorn. Got my zebra pants, my unicorn shirt, and today's class is about finding what your power is. What's your power? Let's pick a card and see what it says. Positivity is my power. I am positive. I am cheerful. I am optimistic. I choose to see the world and the good in every person and every situation. I am positive. So let's start our class in Sukhasana, in easy pose. This is a class that's going to be especially good for people who are fans of Lori Ladd, Phil Good, Elizabeth April, Barbara Marciniak, people who are channeling in what some of the higher frequencies are. And that's what I'm here to do for you as well. So we're sitting in easy pose. We're gonna bring our arms by our sides. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna feel this energy of your power. And today it's positivity. So we're gonna take our arms up, big inhale, and then exhale, like the second part of the word aloha. Inhale up, exhale, two more times. Then again, place. Finnegan, of course, comes from the land of Aloha. Who could not like that? Leave him alone. Okay, now we're going to sit comfortably and we're going to make a big turn to the left. We're going to catch our right knee into the left hand and just get into this beautiful spinal twist. Enjoy the codes that come from flowers. It's said that flowers are ascended masters. So this is a beautiful image of a red heart from our Arthurian lily. All right, let's come back to center, big tall breath. And then exhale, we're gonna to go to the right. So catch your left knee with your, pardon me, your right knee with your left hand and sit up nice and tall. And when we look over our right shoulder, I get to see this beautiful purple Arthurian lily with this fun little phallic symbol coming right out of it. It's the perfect blend of male and female, a heart and a pokey thing. <laughs> okay, big inhale, come back to center, exhale. Sit up with a nice tall spine and just see how you feel for a couple of moments. I want you to think about what is your power. It can be many different things, but that positivity is my favorite one. Let's come off of our seat. We're going to arrive on our hands and our knees, and we're actually just going to do a nice cat-cow here. Lift your spine like a cat. Feel the pelvis tuck under, feel your chin tuck down, and then exhale and go the other way. Come into cow pose. Good. Then we're going to do that one more time, opening up the spine. And I want you now to come to a neutral flat spine. Now to find some inner power and positivity, I really love tiger pose. So this is the one where we're going to shoot our left leg behind us. We're going to lift up through our toes and we're going to take our right arm out in front of us. Swim your arm across the line of the horizon and see if your foot is anywhere near your hand. Give yourself a nice stretch here for a moment. Good. And if you can't reach, that's okay too. It's really nice to just hold your leg and arm in this position and then gently let's release. Let's do the other side. Bring your right leg up, your left arm out long, then slice across the horizon with your arm. You need to bring your foot in a little bit, and with any luck, your foot and your hand catch into each other. And don't worry, this doesn't happen on the first try. Breathe. See how you're feeling. And then next breath, let's bring it back down. Place. Leave her. Good. Now, because we've got a rowdy dog, we're going to do downward dog. So stay where you are, Finn. Place. Place. We're going to kick back our toes. Big inhale breath. Are you a Pleiadian? Yes, he is. Let's lift the hips tall. And then we're going to just walk the dog. So lift and lower through your heels. Place. This is, as they would say in letter penny, fucking embarrassing. Excuse my language. Oh, yes. Walk your dog. Walk your dog. Walk all the way up to your hands. I'm even wearing a pink scrunchie today. 
and then roll your body up to standing. Good. How do you feel? Let's stand in Tadasana for a couple of breaths. Mountain pose. I want you to be strong like a mountain. I want you to be proud like a mountain. And we're going to do tree pose next. Vrik Shasana. So standing in mountain pose, think about which tree you would be today. And again, think of trees, think of flowers, think of crystals, and think of birds as ascended masters. You're gonna stand here nice and tall, use your left leg as standing leg, right foot on the floor, right foot at your calf, and if it's available, you might even bring your foot up so that it's right at the thigh. I like to bring my knee to center, bring my foot all, or knee and leg all the way over to the side, and then gently press in with the foot. Oh gosh, it's not gonna work today. <laughs> this is my tree, woo! I feel like a bit of a special tree at the moment. I'm gonna stand with my foot comfortably against my calf, and this is very good humility for me, just to remember that every day we're different. If you're feeling like you want an extra challenge here, wherever you are, let's raise the arms up, do up your inner zipper, and then we're gonna climb the tree. This is excellent for your core. See how this feels. And breathe. You're gonna feel this right in the obliques along the midline of the body. And it's gonna help with muffin top yoga. Yeah, bring your arms down, bring your foot down, and then just stand nicely in Tadasana for a moment. Let's do the other side. Left foot comes up to your ankle. Two points of contact, very stable comes up to your calf, it fits in perfectly, avoid the knee, and if you do choose to bring your foot all the way up, nice stability before anything happens, and then you wanna guide that foot in. See if that's available, your foot pushes into the thigh equally, you stand here with this good sturdy tree energy, and if it's available, we might uh, climb the tree. So lift your arms up, looking up. It's a bit harder when your foot's at the thigh. Good, and then lower down. Bring your foot to the floor, bring your hands to your heart. We dedicate the merits of our, our practice to all sentient beings. May we all be relieved with su from suffering and may we dwell together with great fruitfulness and harmony. Namaste. Please join me for excellent yoga videos on Ascension, on Yoga with Nicole Spirit. Thank you so much. Aloha.